Why is my marketing not working? This could be a, a massive crushing question that's on your mind. Why are your efforts, your marketing efforts not paying off? Well, my friend, there are some very big, but also very basic reasons why your marketing may not be working and why your sales may be sucking so bad. So here, let's uncover them and get your marketing efforts back on track. What's going on, my friend? I'm Jeff Blake from 10tononline.com. If you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business and launch a better tomorrow, then you're in the right spot. All right, we've got a lot to cover here for you to figure out just what the heck is going on with your marketing efforts and why things aren't hopping, things aren't clicking, things aren't moving. But before we get to that, I've put together a free online business jumpstart guide for you. This is a free, easy to follow PDF guide that gives you a solid foundation for you and for your online business and for your marketing efforts. Here, what we do is we take assets, things that you already possess that you might not even know you have, and we leverage them to bolster your marketing efforts, begin serving and working with the exact sorts of people who you want to serve through your profitable online business. And this free guide really helps to lay things out. We're gonna get clarity here. That's the name of the game to help you build a solid plan for your online business. Go ahead and grab this free guide right now while you can over at 10tononline.com forward slash jump. Okay, now, why aren't your marketing efforts working? Well, here's the first big reason why things may not be hopping and moving for you. It could be possible if you are able to examine the situation from outside of yourself. It could be a situation where maybe you're being too pushy with your customers. Maybe you're emulating what you think a salesperson, what salespeople do. Here, a big mistake that most business owners and marketers and salespeople make is they emulate, like I say here, what they think selling is. They've seen it before. They've maybe even had some of these techniques applied to them, so they're simply copying. They're replicating, they're emulating what they think selling is. Now, the truth of the matter is that this is a total turnoff. This has the opposite effect on people. And I have a big, fat, juicy question for you that will prove this. Do you like dealing with a pushy salesperson? We have all dealt with pushy salespeople at various times throughout our lives, whether it's on a used car lot or walking through the mall or wherever it is. Do you enjoy that interaction? Do you enjoy that experience? I think it's safe to say that none of us enjoy those sorts of encounters, experiences, interactions, being pushy or being persistent with your sales efforts in a pesky, irritating, creepy way is what I call sales prospect repellent. That's because again, it has the opposite effect. People are repulsed by it. They wanna stay away from it. You're walking down the mall and you can see that person coming out of the store where they're, they eye contact, you know they're coming. <laughs> You're getting the heck out of there. It is repulsive. We do not want to deal with pushy, creepy salespeople. This is why, my friend, it's so important to understand the true role of sales. The true role of selling is not to be pushy or to emulate anything that you've seen in the past. That's like amateur bush league selling. The real, true purpose of selling is to guide. It's to assist. It's to teach and educate and help the prospect or the potential customer make the best decision for them. Nobody ever talks about this, but that's what selling really truly is. So don't be creepy. Don't be pushy. Guide instead, and you'll see the results in your sales. All right, my friend, that was the first reason why your marketing or sales efforts could be falling flat. Here's another big, fat, juicy one for you. Being boring. Man, being boring is toxic to your marketing and sales efforts. Boring means plain. Boring means unremarkable. Boring means the same as every other vendor in your market. And here's what most business owners, what most marketers and most salespeople do. Most business owners, marketers, and salespeople look to other vendors who are serving the same market as they are serving. They look at what they're doing and they copy them. 
They copy their offers. They copy their product line. They copy their pricing. They copy their refund policy and on and on and on. And do you know what this does? It makes them exactly the same. <laughs> it makes them indistinguishable from all, if all vendors are copying all the other vendors, assuming they assume that those other vendors actually know what they're doing. They assume that their competition is actually smarter about their pricing and their offers and their product line and their refund policy. And they think they're smarter than they are. Oh, well, I'll just copy them as if they know what they're doing. Well, what does that do? It makes all vendors in the marketplace, all vendors who are serving the marketplace exactly the same. It makes every vendor indistinguishable from the next one, which is why this is so destructive and toxic to your marketing efforts. Emulating your competition makes you the same as them. It makes you boring. Boring does not get noticed, my friend. Boring gets ignored. Boring gets filtered out from all the noise. Boring does not help you stand out which is suicide for your marketing efforts. Standing out and standing for something gets you noticed, but standing out and standing for something, in other words, saying, we're this kind of business, not that kind of business. We serve these sorts of people, not those sorts of people. Well, that takes guts and courage, but it gets you noticed. Okay, now there is one more crucial element that we've got to talk about in terms of your marketing and sales efforts. It is absolute kryptonite. But before we get to that, let's take the next big steps with all this stuff and increase your sales and start driving revenue in your online business. Head over to 10tononline.com forward slash sales. Now there you're going to find a full speed online sales seminar. This is a free self-paced online workshop where you and I are going to discover the real true meaning about what selling is actually all about. I think you're gonna be surprised here because it has nothing to do with being gross or sleazy or a slime ball or anything like that, taking advantage of people, none of that stuff. You're also gonna get some real world methods and strategies for increasing your sales. I really gotta emphasize this in honest, ethical approaches, methods. That's what it's all about. That's what real selling is all about. And perhaps my friend, most importantly, will nail down a clear actionable plan to, for you to move forward with your business as I untie my tongue. You definitely don't want to miss this. Okay, now here is the number one reason why your marketing efforts are not clicking, are not moving and shaking and making things happen. This is marketing and selling kryptonite. You have not established trust. Man, before anyone can buy before you can buy from another business, before I can buy from another business, before anyone can buy from me, before anyone can buy from you, they first have to trust you. They have to trust your business. They have to trust your product and all the promises that you've made. They have to believe that your product or service is actually going to deliver the results that it's promising to deliver. The trouble here is, the big challenge here, is that trust is not earned quickly or easily, especially in this day and age. Now, that said, there are several ways to honestly and ethically and genuinely build trust with the market, with the audience, with the sorts of people who you want to serve over time. And believe it or not, you can actually automate this. I'd love to show you these different methods and I love the whole concept of automating things. But again, it's all about being genuine, being honest. You just have to make sure that you're always honest and that you always have your customer's best interests in mind, in mind, sorry, not yours. Trust is that missing ingredient that so many businesses are missing. Trust is that missing ingredient that unlocks sales. All right, there's the straight truth about why your marketing and why your sales efforts may not be working or clicking or moving or shaking. Now, next, let's get going in your full speed online sales seminar. I know you're gonna love it. I'll see you there next.